Well, the Freshman Success Community to me would have to be a great way to start off college because you come in, you don't really know which classes to take, what to do, so you have advisors and people that get to know you on a personal level and they get to help you step by step in achieving your goal. At first, it was an anomaly. I had no clue what it was. But then as time progressed and we realized we shared the same classes, um, it became a pivot for us, or like a, an anchor for us. A community is more than just academics. And in the sense that it molded me is that I came in from high school not social, uh, very quiet spoken, not wanting to speak at all. Always had my head down in class, you know, things of that sort. I just didn't associate with anybody. And the community really changed that for me. Okay, so to me, the freshman success community is everything. It taught me how to be a college student, how to make friends, how to do all the college things at a commuter school where it might not be as easy to do those things because um, you're not living on campus. Um, so it's harder to make friends, harder to figure out good study habits and things like that. Um, and also coming in, I'm younger than most college students. Um, so it was definitely a helpful transition from high school to college to have that group of friends who can say, here, here you go. This community presents you with all the tools to, to, to basically carve out your own future. My favorite part of the freshman sexual community was getting to know people that I never knew before. Just trying to work together with people to solve problems in science and in math and in all, the, all these classes that we had together. My favorite part of the freshman success community was probably the trip to medical school that we took. Um, my dream is to go to medical school one day and it was just a great opportunity to see what it was like, you know, to meet the professors, to have the tour. What was my favorite part? Um, I would say some of the networking events we got to have um, throughout the year. Um, one of them was the Celtics game, which I liked a lot. <laughs> My advice for the upcoming freshmen would be to stay on the ball, like stay on the game. Like It's going to get hard and everything might just come really quick at you. but. You guys can do it. It's all about will and trying and have faith in yourself. And enjoy college. Definitely don't panic. It might be a little crazy at first, but everything smooths out and then you're good to go for the year. And definitely balance your time with, I mean, it's good to study, study, but it's also good to kind of relax and lay back a little bit. So definitely even it out. Study and you can have a good time. I mean, college is great. So definitely enjoy every single minute of it. So. Take this stuff seriously and study, study. Study your butt off, study your eyes off till they turn red, till you bleed what you just read. Just keep studying and do not stop. You're gonna come to college. You're gonna take science classes you're gonna realize that you have a lot more free time. Read the book. You know, if all else fails, your, your handy planner is your buddy. Like, um, take the syllabus that the instructor gives you with the course and, you know, write test dates on them. Plan free time and stick to that schedule because one hour could turn into five, could turn into a nap, could turn into, oh crap, it's Monday, and I have a test. Do not go to the cafeteria at 11 a.m. or noon because it is packed, jam-packed. You will not, by the time you get your food, you probably have class to go to. My favorite place on campus is probably the third floor of the campus center. If you go towards the science building while still in the campus center, um, there's an open area with a lot of comfy chairs with desks attached to them. So it's a good place to just hang out or study or take a nap if you want to. It's, it's one of my favorites and it overlooks the um, harbor, so it's really nice. In the library, you definitely want to start off in the sixth floor 
because the sixth floor, if you want to study by yourself, it's easier for you to, to be there by yourself, concentrate, get your work done. If you want to study in a group, go to the eighth floor and grab one of the cubicles, grab a board, write things down, shoot ideas, get to like work together. If you don't know something, other classmates will know it, so the best place to do it would be in the eighth floor. Depends on what I feel like doing. If I want to take a nap, uh, third floor campus center, there's a little vestibule chair section place. I don't know, you can chill there, take a nap there. Um, there's a game room in the campus center, and they recently added a PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. So if you're into like uh, Marvel vs. Capcom or the fighting games, you know, you can knock an hour out over there. And also on the third floor campus center, there's a, a group of clubs for uh, different types of uh, type, types of people. There's the Black Student Center, Casa Latina, uh, the Asian Center, and there are other ones. You know, just check it out. Yeah, I go there too. I volunteered at Franklin Park Zoo. That was really cool. I got to work with giraffes and zebras and the lions and tigers. It was pretty awesome. The dean greatly helped me get the Franklin Park Zoo volunteer position. Um, it greatly helped me too. And he was willing to help me right at the last minute too. What the Deed Dean's Ambassador Program is, is you work with the Dean whenever there's events or anything going on, the, uh, you're sent an email and you're asked to volunteer there. And it's just a great opportunity because you have all these volunteer hours in and it just looks great on your resume for leadership skills. Currently this summer, I'm doing an internship with the U54, which is a collaboration partnership with UMass Boston and Dana-Farber Harvard Cancer Center. It's been such a great experience. Um, just for one thing, to acclimate myself to the research environment and have time to understand the rigors of conducting research. Also, it's a great networking opportunity um, to find what research is going on within the city of Boston. So the freshman success community, joining it was the best decision I ever could have made. Um, what? What's the question again? What advice do you have? Advice, okay. Have a mic. Never had a mic on before. You were on a roll there. <laughs> <laughs> now we laughed ourselves in. Awesome. Um, to Shaw sometimes to get myself a salad. Uh oh. <laughs> Is that loud in your earphones? <laughs> <laughs> Cut that out or edit that. <laughs> <laughs>